Hey guys, welcome to the John Freitag channel. So today, Connor's working on his truck engine and I'm working on this, the old Case 830. I got some cleaning up to do still. I wanna make sure I get this all nice and cleaned up, scuffed up, wire wheeled off, all that kind of stuff and get this thing so I can shoot some primer on it. That's gonna be my goal for today. Don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but that's what I'm gonna do. Connor, did you happen to see my tube? My tube. Looks good. Okay, Connor approves of the tube. This is what I did the last time I built that tube. Um, gotta think about anything else I might have to build before. Probably what I'd like to do before I paint. Eh, I guess I don't have to. I'm waffling back and forth in my head here. But anyway, I gotta change this. I got this. This tube made up, and it's right here, and I'll be changing that, but that can wait till after I paint. And I wanna tape off these belts. I don't wanna get them all painted up. That one's a little loose. I might have to do some adjusting on that. Anytime you can take an alternator and just spin it like that, not spin the whole rest of the motor, you know it's loose. So that's gotta be tight. We don't wanna have it slipping on the water pump. Um, this belt seems pretty tight, and these tend to be a problem area on these tractors where they just slip a little bit when you're steering. But I think with the tricycle front end, they steer pretty easy, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Uh, especially since it is tight. That's what I gotta do. I gotta run around, wire wheel it off, clean it up. I gotta finish cleaning this wheel, finish cleaning up a lot of stuff, really. Wow, it's a little bit overwhelming. I'm probably gonna tape this off. I don't wanna, I might as well tape it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna tape this off. And if I see anything else that needs taping, probably should tape this guy off. So I got some cleaning and taping to do, and that's what I'll be doing today. Wow, okay guys, so I'm cleaning on this thing, and it's like I'm throwing every tool I can think of at it. I got my right angle drill, battery operated DeWalt. Operated? Anyway, battery operated DeWalt, and I got this cute little circular brush on it. What I like about this one is it doesn't spin so fast. I know these things are gonna fly off and hit me in the eye, so. But I'm getting in all the nooks and crannies with it. Oh, you can't see that. I'm getting all the nooks and crannies, the corners, look at all that dust flying up. Now this is after Connor pressure washed this tractor. We cleaned this tractor. We wiped it all down with mineral spirits because that really cuts grease pretty good. And even some brake clean I hosed the thing down with. So I'm pretty confident I don't have grease residue on it, but I still got a lot of rusty spots. You know, a lot of, a lot of places with powdery rust and dirt that, that I'm just trying to, trying to get rid of all that stuff. So I'm just gonna keep at it. I I got my battery operated DeWalt grinder with this style wire brush on it. And I've got this grinder with this style wire brush on it. Oh, when I'm using these wire brushes, I make sure I put the eye protection on. They spin pretty fast and when they start wearing out, they start spitting wires out. And I mean, I hit, getting hit in the face when that stings and hurts, but get, I can't even imagine getting hit in the eye with a wire brush wire coming out and sticking in the eye. That, that would be like, a uh, colossal nightmare. Another thing I'm doing since this thing right here is about three weeks old, I'm finally starting to heal. So it was like two and a half, three weeks of pain just because I didn't have a glove on. So trying to keep up with the PPE. I'm gonna go back to cleaning, but I just wanted to show you guys the tools I'm using and all the little spots I'm cleaning and how I'm doing it and all the junk that's still flying up and off. After that, I'm gonna hit it with some compressed air and blow the thing off clean and then we're probably gonna prime it. Look at that dirt flying. <laughs> Whew. Bad thing about these grinders, these DeWalt grinders, they pull the battery down really quick. This battery was fully charged. Just a little while ago, I can feel it. I feel it getting weaker. It's down to one bar on my little battery indicator. This is something I do like about the DeWalts. See if you can see it. A little battery indicator. So I got three lines. I'm down to the last one. So I'm gonna throw this on charge, get a fresh battery, go back to work. I don't know if this is factory paint or what, but man, when they put it on, it went on kind of gobby. That's like some kind of runny, streaky, saggy thing. And it's, you know, it's got it in a lot of different places where they just must have just sprayed ample amounts of paint on it. The thing is, am I gonna sand that all off so I don't, this doesn't show through my paint? Probably not. There's gonna be chips. There's gonna be stuff like you can see where Especially on this cast thing, it's so crude and rough. There's places where there's paint where there's not. This is all kind of stuff that typically if you're painting sheet metal or painting a car, you're going to see that stuff. It's all going to show through. Here's even a factory run on that. I'm going to throw on a heavy coat of primer, and then we're going to throw on three heavy coats of paint. Oh, that could be opportunity calling. I better answer it. But anyway, we're going to throw on paint and primer, 
obscure it as best we can so it looks good and that'll be that. Okay, I was happily working on the tractor but Connor got me all sidetracked. I need a partner. Needs a partner to take this back window out. You can see where it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> broken paint. So I bought all these tools for moving windshields and yeah. I don't know how to use any of them. None must of them be seem why to work they call right. them panes. Panes? Window yeah. panes? Yes. Yeah, when they pain. break they're a pain. Yeah it's a pain all right. He's setting up this tool, these handles with this uh, equalizer wire that's supposed to be really good. I got it at Auto Body Tool Mart. Now I do have another video where I showed how not to take out a window out of a Mercedes because it exploded when I got about okay. just about had it out and it busted. So we're not good at this whatsoever. We generally like to hire it out. Maybe the good guys aren't. Well, yeah, they don't promise nothing either. I mean, no, we're talking don't. about glass here. So we're going to try to saw this out. We already had, kind of, where's that? Tool? I used the oscillator. Oh, $120 used this blade. I got about three foot done. The Onyx by Astro. This didn't work good except for the blade. He got about two foot and it broke. It did. And there's a really sharp angle on the inside there to try and cut it out. And they do have different blades. So when you're cutting, you already know. I'm going to tell you. Are you talking to me? Yeah. You talk, I thought you were talking to the camera. No. Here's the blades from Auto Body Tool Mart. They got different configuration. Maybe this one would have worked for us. I don't know. But anyway, that thing just oscillates. It's almost like a Sonic Crafter tool. A real fine oscillation. Yep. So we're going to give this a try, right, Connor? Wait, well, the boy, I just don't want to burn another $20 blade. Oh, yeah. Which way are we going? That way. Are you ready? I'm already halfway through. So. You can't pull too. Ooh, look how easy that went. Well, it's because I already cut. It went so easy, I have to reposition the camera. What? You pay attention? <laughs> I don't know. Which way are we going? Okay, I see you in there smiling. You ready? Yeah. All right, so who pulls first? How much of this we do? We just pull. Oh, you got a saw. You got a saw? Yeah. No, oh, it's. Wow! It's working. Because I already cut that. Oh, now I'm cutting up into the molding here. So we don't want to do that when we have to do the other one. And now we got a kink in the wire. You got to keep your angle so that it doesn't do that. I don't know how. That's the hard part. It's cutting that. I don't want to hit your paint either. You ready? It's way up into it. You good? Yeah. Give me more strength. Okay. Hey, that really worked great. <laughs> we snapped it already. Ah, here's what it did. Turned into a pigtail on the end of it. Well, maybe we ought to just rehook it and try it shorter. All right, Connor's got it reattached already. We're going to try this again. Only we're going to try to go a little more sweeping as I'm falling over the drive shaft that's laying on the floor here. You ready? He also put a little wedge in the window. It's getting hot, Connor. I can see smoke coming off it. Is it the heat that cuts it? I burned the paint a little bit back here. Do we need more tension? Oh. I'm getting tired out. That's a blast. Did it again. We gotta come up with something better and smarter. So we're gonna try everything. He's gonna go get a Sonic Crafter, see if he can just get in with that and, and use it with the regular Sonic Crafter blade. What blade are you gonna use, Connor? Wood cutting blade. Now this is stainless wire, see, but this is braided. So the other wire was smooth. This this sort of caught. I was hitting this lip, this metal lip, and I think it was just wearing that wire right out. Now you're just hitting the, you're hitting that metal it's lip. Very hard to do because oh, there's right. no angle. You can't yeah. get the right angle. You can't get the angle on it's it. Straight up and down near the glass. What if we wrapped all the way around the thing, kind of, and... How are you doing? You're doing all right. You're doing all right, except for burning the paint gas. Yeah, you're hitting the, you're hitting the moldings. Yeah, that's tough. Get, uh, I mean, it's, we're trying to get this window out to see if we can get one out without busting it. We ain't doing so hot. <laughs> Not doing so good. All right, well. All right, he's got a side crafter. <laughs>
it's not terrible. It's not. It works better than the damn tool that's supposed to do it. Well, I think if I had like one of those blades on this, it would probably do pretty good, but it's, it's really not bad. It'd take a while, you know? Maybe lubing Well, that's up. the fastest thing I've seen so far. That other one did work quick, but it's just so flimsy. Yeah. You're banging into the metal. Am I? I think so. That's how slow it's moving. It's going slow. And when we're doing the wire, we screwed this molding up, so. We gotta keep that in mind for the next. Maybe you just buy a new glass and throw in the back. Just one solid glass. I wouldn't mind. I don't like these. Yeah, these split windows. Anyways. Stupid. Nope. I, ne I never use a split just window. Just have the guys come with a rear glass and a front glass when I do it. Yep. So we get this out, you get it out, and good enough. Yeah, I think so. It's not worth all the effort of doing that. Do you want to try that braided wire? <clears throat> no. Just gotta keep, <laughs> keep going to Sonic Crafter. Yeah, in fact, maybe just have those guys take this out too. I got the seat out of the way for them and the trim out of the way. That's a lot of labor. So you've had enough, huh? Yeah, this is stupid. Okay. He's got to change the windshield anyway. It's got a big crack up front. Probably can't see it on the film, but there it is. It won't pass. So. All right, so we've tried various different methods. I even watch these guys do it. Actually, I never really pay too much attention when they do it. I guess I would call them and get them. Yeah, they, they'd love to do it now. Oh, yeah, they can put it up and down wherever they want. Yeah. Yep, they can have it right on the ground. I bet that'd make it easier for them. Yeah. Tell them not to break my dashboard, but we'll see about that. Your best dashboard's already broke. I know. I don't want a broken error. We got to figure out how to make these right dashboards. Right now, you can get the top covers for them. Yeah. But when they're gone, that's a little harder to do. Top cover is just a rag. They throw a no, rug. No, no, no. They make an actual cover. Cover. They make a real one that you can, I think, epoxy down. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I've never been uh, ritzy enough to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> we drive around. But the dashboard's all smashed. Someday I'm gonna buy some of these interior parts that cost too much. Yeah. Like my door panels and dash pad for my F-150, 600 bucks. 600 bucks, are they new? Someday. You mean LMC does it for six or what? Yeah, you get a new dash pad and you get um, door panels and I think lower panels too. Yeah. It's like $600. Yay, I love it. Can't buy them used much cheaper either. Everybody on eBay wants money for them too. And they're I know. Crap, so. Yep. Well, there's that. I mean, he's gonna let the pros do the window. Seems like a good idea. And I'm going back to that 830 tractor. I'm gonna get cleaning up some more. I got quite a ways on it already, so I might even get primer on it today if I'm lucky. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We always see what happens because we never know up front. Hey guys, minor disruption with it working on Connor's truck, but that's okay. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one.